His dance moves are impressive, but I'm in control. Seize him! I'm sure the Mandela Effect doesn't need explaining to anyone who's been on the internet in the last few years. But, in case you are unfamiliar, the Mandela Effect refers to a phenomenon in which multiple people remember something differently to how it actually is. Some notable examples include, hundreds of thousands of people seem to remember Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father, in The Empire Strikes Back, when the actual line is, No. I. Your father. And many people also remember the children's book The Berenstein Bears being spelled with an E instead of an A, but this was never the case. In fact, one of, if not the most famous example of the Mandela Effect is to do with the Monopoly Man. When you picture the Monopoly Man, do you picture him wearing a monocle? If you already know about this, then probably not, but if you did picture him with one, then you are experiencing the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect has always interested me, but it's never really affected me personally. Practically all of the notable examples you'll find online, including the ones I just mentioned, never really touched me. I didn't grow up with the Berenstein Bears, so the misspelling of the name didn't mean anything to me. I always knew Darth Vader said Luke, I am your father, so that never bothered me either. As for the Monopoly Man and his monocle, yeah, I thought it was a bit strange because I thought he had one. But once I saw that he never did, I wasn't really taken back by it. I was just like, oh, that's weird. I guess I just remembered wrong. However, I have stumbled across an example of the Mandela Effect recently that seems to be less known than the previously mentioned examples. And this one... This one actually got me. Now I'm not going to start saying this is proof that we were transported from one dimension to another or whatever which is actually a, an original part of the theory. But I do think this is extremely weird, and, like I said, is the only example that actually really seemed to shock and confuse me. So, in this video, we're going to look at this elusive example of the Mandela Effect, and hopefully try and find a logical explanation for this strange collective false memory. Without further ado, let's take a look. So, to get things started, I want to see how you remember things. I know you've already seen the title of this video, but I still want you to picture this. Picture the infamous Goofy Goober scene from the Spongebob movie from 2004. Specifically, picture the bit where he floats upwards in his wizard outfit and plays that insane shredding guitar solo. Now what does his guitar look like in your mind? Just picture the guitar itself. Now, did you picture a double-necked guitar with a white body? Maybe the body of the instrument even had a sort of V-shape to it, like those 80s guitars. Well, if you did picture any of the above, you're wrong. Here's what his guitar actually looks like in the scene. Yep, it's a single-necked, peanut-shaped guitar that's that sort of orangey, spongy colour. There's not another neck or a V-shaped body in sight, and there isn't throughout any part of the scene. But, if you did picture any of the things I mentioned when you were recalling what the guitar looked like, you're by no means alone. If you search for the Goofy Goober guitar online, you will soon run into multiple forums, mostly on Reddit, discussing what people remember the guitar looking like. TikTok user Swift71 made a video highlighting how he could have sworn the guitar was white with a V-shaped body. And while there are people disagreeing and saying it was always a peanut, there are a lot of people commenting on how they could have sworn it looked nothing like it actually does in the film. While the commenters have differing memories of what it looked like, with some claiming it was a purple double-necked, some claiming it was single-necked but purple or white, they all show us one thing. The majority of people do not remember the peanut guitar that features in the film. It was this exact video that surprised me as well. I watched it and then saw all the comments and was like, whoa, 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 that's not what the guitar looked like ever. And while I don't particularly remember what I thought the body looked like, 
I distinctly remember the guitar always having two necks. I especially can vividly picture the two necks being present when it cuts to the live action segment where Spongebob shreds on the fretboard, and I distinctly remember Spongebob charging up the laser from the ends of both necks, and not just the end of the one in the film. And like I said, I don't remember the body, but I do not remember it being the strange peanut shape it is in the current film. But I, like all the other people online saying it looks different, was wrong. I even did a bit of an experiment and asked some of my friends what they thought it looked like without googling it. They also remembered the guitar having two necks and a different shaped body, and when they did eventually google it, they were as confused as I and thousands of other people were when they saw it was a stupid peanut design. Some people, in their confusion, have even tried to rationalise it with, well, they must have changed it later on for some reason, but this is not the case and there is no evidence to support this. The truth is, the guitar has always been a single-necked peanut. You can watch the original DVD release of the film and it will still be a peanut. It was never anything else at any point in time. So why do so many people remember it differently? I mean, there must be a reason as to why thousands of people think the guitar looks different to what it actually is. So what are the possible options for an explanation? Well, the most popular explanation for the mysterious shape-shifting guitar is that people are actually remembering the guitar Sandy played during the Sweet Victory segment in the episode Band Freaks. I'm sure you're familiar with the episode, it's the one that inspired that Super Bowl performance meme back in 2019. In this episode, Sandy can briefly be seen playing a purple V-shaped guitar during the Sweet Victory performance, as you can see here. This has led some people to suggest that we've not all collectively invented this perception of the guitar, we've just remembered Sandy's. This is a pretty solid idea, as it would explain why some people think the guitar is purple, and why most of us think it's V-shaped. It's also not ludicrous to suggest that people have subconsciously remembered Sandy's guitar, and then associated it with the Goofy Goober sequence because the guitar does fit Spongebob's whole purple wizard aesthetic more. The episode is also an incredibly popular one, so it could also explain why so many people remember it wrong. They likely saw this episode, and then the movie, and have simply mixed the guitar up for some reason. So, case closed, right? Well, not really. Sure, this idea is a good explanation as to why some people think the guitar is purple and or v-necked, but this theory, like any, has holes in it, and ultimately fails to explain why other people remember the guitar looking white or double-necked. The guitar that Sandy plays is single-necked, so it doesn't explain why so many people think the Goofy Goober one has two, and, like I said, more people think it's white than purple, and this guitar is a solid purple, so it doesn't explain that side of things either. I also think Sandy's guitar is a bit too niche to be wrongfully remembered as Spongebob's in the movie. I know the band episode is incredibly popular, but Sandy playing this guitar isn't shown very often, and only appears in the Sweet Victory section for a couple of seconds, and it's mostly in the background. I find it hard to believe that so many people have misconstrued this essentially minute detail as being a part of the film's arguably most iconic moment. Plus, people distinctly remember the guitar being associated with Spongebob in that wizard outfit, so I don't think they'd mix up Sandy holding one in the background of a scene for the one Spongebob holds in an incredibly integral scene that you could argue more people would have seen en masse. And, as I mentioned, a lot of people, though not as much as those who remember the body in colour, distinctly remember the two necks, which are not present anywhere during this sequence. In fact, from what I can see, there isn't a double-necked guitar to be found anywhere in the show. If you google Spongebob double neck guitar, you won't find anything actually from the show. All you'll find is pictures of real life guitars with Spongebob's face on them, and then the various forums discussing the Mandela effect. I think this theory is probably the closest we could get to some sort of answer. Sandy's guitar in this episode is the only V-shaped guitar to feature in the entire show, and we must have got the image from somewhere, right? 
I've only seen this once, but one person suggested that perhaps people remember the guitar as being white because Spongebob is wearing a full white costume during the bit where a smaller version of himself dances on his tongue. I do get where this guy is coming from, but I don't know. I think it's way too big of a stretch because, like Sandy's guitar, it's just so specific and I can't see it being the cause of this Mandela effect. There's also no guitar present or anything that could even resemble a guitar in this segment, so it seems even less likely, because at least the Sandy guitar theory revolved around, well, her guitar. So this theory doesn't really work either, and once again, it only explains the colour and not the shape. The only explanation I could offer for the misremembered shape and colour is that our mind has sort of filled in the blanks. Perhaps we remember the guitar wrong because we picture a guitar that suits Spongebob's outfit more. I think we can all agree the peanut does not suit the wizard get up, while the fake memory we have in our mind does. I mean, a white guitar would match the boots he's wearing and would contrast nicely with the purple outfit. At the end of the day, I don't think we'll ever really find an explanation for this. The guitar was always peanut shaped and Spongebob never ever played a white V-shaped guitar anywhere else in the show. So those of us who remember the guitar being different seem to have just imagined it being like that, perhaps just because we haven't seen it in so long. Each theory and explanation provided by people online can be debunked in various ways, even if they seem strong at first. I guess this example of the Mandela effect will be just like all the other examples forever a bit of a mystery. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I know it was a bit silly just ranting about how the Goofy Goober guitar is different to what we all remember or what some of us remember, but I think it's interesting to talk about. I'm hoping to make more and more videos like this, like talking ones, sort of documentary style ones, theories, reviews, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, Stay tuned, I'll see you all in the next video.